Invincible season two finale. Let's get it. Our episode starts off and I was completely confused. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm sitting here seeing a bunch of robots and weird ass aliens get beat up and I don't know what is going on. I had no idea if we was watching Invincible or Halo 2. Who is fighting these robots? Master Chief? Well, it is a Master Chief, but it ain't Master Chief. <laughs> you feel me barring up? But it's my guy Nolan. And apparently, he's in tip top shape, ready to be executed. You see General Craig, he come in here talking that shit in here looking like fake ass Kano. He need to be a DLC character on the MK game, not Omni Man. I'm just saying. And who the f is this out of shape ass nigga running right here? This dude out here jogging for his life, bro, giving himself a lecture to try to make it. Good God, Lordy Lord, you gotta do it. Keep going, nigga. Cause if you don't do it, nobody else is. You are the best runner. There is. And you got Mark in the background looking at this fat ass nigga like, man, if you don't shut your out of shape ass up. But none of that matters. But what does matter is this nasty armadillo body nigga right here. As you all may recall, at the end of season two, episode seven, Angstrom Levy, <laughs> Levi, Levi, I think it's Levy, Levy. I'm going to just say Levy because that's what that nigga saying in the show. He called my man Mark up. Ring, ring, ring. Pick up the phone, nigga. Ring, ring. Yo, hello? But mom, is this you? Yeah, it's me. No, nigga, it ain't your fucking mom, dumbass boy. Now you got two choices, Mark. Either come back here to save your mom, or I'm gonna break her back, I mean her neck. If you lay one hand on my mom, nigga, I'm gonna play connect the dots with every vein in that nasty ass brain on the back of your head with all rights and lefts. I'm telling you, bro, get your hands off my fucking mom. I'm gonna beat your ass later in this video. Man, you ain't beating shit, nigga. You need to be the nigga that made your trash ass costume. So anyway, this man Mark mad as shit, bro. Angstrom in here talking heavy to his mom, to his brother, and he go running straight at him. And this dude Angstrom sent my man to different multiverses, bro. This whole episode, he sending my dude Mark to all types of shit. First, he sent them to a place with talking dinosaurs. These niggas is in here like they in the Flintstones. Nah, scratch that, the land before time. Now, I'm not gonna hold you, bro. He get here and I'm gonna keep it a band with you. At one point in his life, your boy Sin wanted to be a goddamn archeologist or something. One of those niggas that look at fossils. Bro, I love dinosaurs. I'ma keep it a band. I play a trading card game called Magic the Gathering. My very first deck had a bunch of fucking dinosaurs in it. But these niggas can talk. Bro, imagine you pull up on some dinosaurs and they start talking crazy to you. <laughs> Hold on. Is that? Yeah, that's that's a human. I haven't smelt a human since that one Ice Spice concert. That was a delectable smell. This one smells a little bit more pungent. <sighs> Yo, what the fuck? Oh my god, he can talk! Oh shit, a talking human, I, I thought they were extinct, we we murdered them all, right? I guess we gotta finish this one off. Wait, if you can talk, you can think. Let me fight him. Why do you get to fight everybody? Cuz nigga, you don't got no fucking hands. Last time you fought somebody, you got your ass beat. And this nigga can fly. What do you mean he can- Holy shit, he's got invisible wings. Huh? And will y'all shut the fuck up? So after my man Mark got done talking to these fucking dinosaurs, he ended up going to another universe, bro, with a fake ass Spider-Man, bro. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you right now, bro. I mean, at least it was the original voice actor from the original Spider-Man cartoon, so I'm not mad about it. But Arachnid Man and, and Doc Crop or whatever the fuck. Come on, bro. I thought that Amazon had rights to at least stream Spider-Man. They do not got Spider-Man IP, bro. They was not letting that shit slide. Keep it a thousand. My man Mark in here fighting goddamn fake Spider-Man, bro, thinking that he's the bad guy. Old Tom is the nigga with the octopus arms. Mark talking about he can't tell because bro got red eyes. Nigga, does he sound like a bad guy to you? I mean, to be fair, Angstrom Levy didn't really sound like a bad guy either. I'ma keep it a thousand. I mean, that dude just sound like some square ass dude. Like Steve Urkel from Family Matters or fucking Carlton Banks. I mean, <laughs> he one of those preppy ass blacks. So my man Mark back, bro, and this dude Angstrom is still threatening Debbie and Oliver, bro. If you take one more step, I'm going to send your mother and your brother to a different dimension, ho ass nigga. Man, come on, bro. You're not going to hurt him. We both know you don't got it in you, bro. I can tell by the suit you wearing that you saw. Cotton soft at that. Man, last time you seen me, you tried to save me, dumbass. And this made my man Angstrom spiral, bro. He started seeing all the thoughts from the different Angstroms from different universes. And there's a lot of fucked up marks, bro. You got a mark that killed his son right in front of him, too, bro. Look at this dude. He thinking he's about to protect his son from Invincible, bro. Whew. Invincible showed him that his son is not Invincible, bro. Splattered this nigga everywhere, bro. Like you stepped on a gogurt. There's another universe where Invincible accidentally killed his wife. Another one where he killed all of his police officer buddies. Another one where they took over the world. 
There's even one world where they had these niggas locked up in the prison camps. He was just walking by karate chopping their heads off. This dude Mark is a different demon in these other worlds. Let me keep it a band. And if I was Angstrom Levy, I'd probably try to kill this nigga too. Anyways, after Angstrom has this fucking midlife crisis in the middle of Mark's house, he ends up throwing Mark into a different world. One with a bunch of fucking zombies in it. You know, sit this man Mark to the walking dead. You're probably thinking, how could this possibly get any worse? Well, Debbie thought that it'd be a good idea to try to attack Angstrom. I've had enough of this, you big headed, nasty brained, bad body bastard. But who the fuck is you? Oh, did you just cut my fucking stuff? Do you know what I will fucking do to you? Then this dude grabbed Oliver. I'm like, oh shit, look at this nasty, great Jolly Rancher built bit. I will break him in half. Let my son go. Bitch, this ain't your fucking son. Omni-Man had this motherfucking son with an insect, bitch. What the fuck are you a side piece? And as all of this is going on, Mark is in all of these different worlds getting fucked up over and over and over again. I mean, time is really weird. So it feels like he's going forever, but it's been like five minutes. So he ends up coming back, bro, and Angstrom has hurt Debbie, bro. And Mark has had enough. He done started fighting this nigga, but see, Angstrom started fighting back. See, the guys that fixed Angstrom's body, they made his body actually very durable and made him really strong. And this is, it would have been a good thing for him to fight against Mark if it wasn't for the fact that he's literally been sending Mark to get a bunch of Zenkai boost over and over and over again. Every time you send Mark to one of these different worlds, Mark is there for a long time getting hurt. And when Viltrumites get hurt, and since Mark has adrenaline because he's human and Viltrumite DNA so we get Zenkai boost, he just keeps getting hurt over and over and over and over again without stopping. But every time he heals up after getting hurt, he just gets stronger. So by the time he gets back, the Lord knows however long it's been, he's had a bunch of Zenkai boost. Mark is literally stronger now than he was at the beginning of this. He thought that he was weakening Mark. No, nigga. Mark was not only getting stronger, he's holding back. But the second that you made him think that you were strong, Mark stopped holding back. He turned that limiter off. And when I tell you he beats the ever loving shit out of this nigga, Angstrom Levy, that is an understatement. So this man Angstrom Levy ends up going to this little sand place, bro. He got his hands on Mark, looked like he about to choke him out. This man Mark has had enough. He stiff arm him, hmm. throw his ass. Mark's like, I'm tired of this shit, bitch ass nigga. Boom, hit him, had this dude hitting the Haiti cartwheels. Sped up, hmm, double handed fist. Dewaji, we gonna have to censor all of this, bro. I'm gonna keep it a band. He started beating the shit out of him. Bing, 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 bing. Left, right, left, bitch ass nigga. Nasty head, pussy, punk ass, bad suit, wearing, Cat Williams Taylor having pussy. Bro, he was beating the dog shit out of this dude Angstrom Levy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I had him on the ground looking crazy. Blood on his hands, bro. He did this man dirtier than YMW Melly did his friends, bro, respectfully. Now, obviously, Mark ends up killing this guy. <sighs> Maybe. But the only reason that he didn't hold back and that he did all of this to Angstrom is because he thought Angstrom was stronger. He pretty much tricked Mark into doing this. Which when you think about it, it's like, damn, nigga, you're kind of dumb. But at the same time, I, I I saw the vision. But nigga, that shit was blurry. I'm not going. <laughs> Yo, real quick, though. How come everybody in this episode has black eyes, bro? Debbie, Omni-Man, Mark. Reminds me of that one Brian Pumper video. You know, the one where he's like, Respect your boy Pumper's mind. Fuck a hater. Cell phone adventures. We here. Don't mind the black eyed niggas hating that fast, that fast. I do music. I do a bunch of shit. Right. Right. You know what? Cause I never squirted. So maybe it might be a squirt. That's piss. That's exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nigga, I'm fucking with a black eye. See, they try to stop you from getting the pussy. Pump yourself on adventures. Everything real. Niggas get tired of the fake shit. So Mark is sitting here going through a midlife crisis in the middle of nowhere with his husband used his bags like hers, the cowardly dog. And he realizes that the thing that he didn't want to become, he has finally became his father. In the case of 32 year old Nolan, you are the father and the son. This nigga both of them. I'm not gonna lie, bro. He Mark, but he also Omni Man. This nigga is a Viltra might spawn. Anyway, speaking of Omni Man, what's going on with. Oh, fake ass Kano's beating him up. See, it's Viltra might rule and law that basically you have to be in tip top shape to get executed. However, they don't say anything about bruises. So this man, Craig, Creed, Craig, Creed, whatever the fuck his name is, starts beating the shit out of this dude Omni Man. 
But it's all good because Alan the Alien's here, bro, and telepathically tells Omni Man that he's gonna be breaking him out soon. I hope. Anyways, Mark's been stuck in this fucking lonely ass sandy place for uh, Lord knows how long, bro. Can't really tell because Mark ages very slow. He's a Viltrumite, so you know. Anyways, the Guardians of the Globe show up, but they're from the future in a different dimension. And yeah, anyways, they knew Mark would be here, so they came to save him. Now, Adam Eve wasn't supposed to say too much because she was going to fuck up the timeline, but uh, she does anyway. So uh, there you have it. She tells Mark that she loves him. And uh, I guess this is perfect timing because him and Amber broke up. So yeah, I guess Mark has something to do when he gets home. I guess the big ass pussy on his eye is symbolic of the pussy he's about to get from Adam Eve. Anyways, look at this nigga grown up robot, bro. AKA Rex, because robots are weird ass pedophile. All right, my fault. Anyways, so Mark is back, bro. And he goes to see his mom, bro. And his mom's got a big pussy on her face too. Yeah, she's also Brian Pumper getting pussy with a black eye now mark is going through it bro he's sitting outside he's life is passing him by he should have went to debris but instead he ended up his fucking dad and now he's pretty much complacent doesn't know what to do with life he's been running away from not being omni man but now he's kind of omni man i mean at least he feels that way which is really stupid because no you're not omni man literally killed thousands and thousands of people in chicago killed his own teammates and called your mother a pet nigga you are nowhere near as bad as him right now my list is hitler putin joe biden omni man and array don't make no damn sense bro you are not fourth on the list under hitler bro respectfully so you know how immortal's been going through it bro he ended up going home on his big ass sabbatical hiatus type thing and He's been very, very sad with life, and he doesn't really know what to do with it because Duplicate died. <sighs> well, Duplicate's not dead. She's been living this entire time through a clone. She's alive. This is the original right here. Shout out to Asian girls. Let the lights dim some. All right, my fault. Anyways, I have no idea what the fuck this is right here, bro. They go to go talk to these two chicks, uh, break into this, like, pyramid thing, I, and there's a mummy there. I have no idea what that's about don't really care anyways mark's having a midlife crisis again he's flying through the sky crying like a big pussy bro having all these flashbacks of his dad telling him to think and then he didn't think and then he sees cecil he sees fucking fake ass kano telling him that he's got to take over his dad's place bro you are your father bro you didn't have to go to maury povich to learn that shit he goes to go see amber but ends up not talking to her because he realizes that they broke up he flies away and i feel like she knows that he's there but who cares about Amber anyway? Like, fuck off. Good riddance. Anyways, to get home, the house is all put back together, bro. They don't fix everything. And for some reason, Oliver still isn't aged up at all yet. But at this point in the comic, he has, which is kind of weird. But, you know, I digress. They're just kind of doing their own thing, I guess. Who gives a fuck? Now, this dude, Mark, is sitting on the roof talking to his mom. And I'll be real with you. I don't give a fuck, bro. Every time him and Debbie talk, it's a Debbie Downer, bro. <laughs> All right, my fault. That was crazy. This whole episode has taught me that Mark was literally off a of 30 perk. Like, let, let, let's just go back and talk for a second about this whole Angstrom Levy thing, right? So Mark is in this uh, weird ass multiverse kind of thing, bro. I mean, even fake ass arachnid man brings up a Miles Morales reference, bro. I've had a lot of experience with that recently. <laughs> hey, bro, shut the fuck up. Anyways, he ends up going and thinking. That Angstrom Levy is very strong because Angstrom Levy was talking that shit. But Angstrom Levy is garbage. And because he's garbage, he ends up getting destroyed by Mark. Mark right here in this scene, when he was beating the hell out of Angstrom Levy, was off of a 30 perk. And that is why it's in the thumbnail. He took a 30 perk when he beat him up. And 30 perks don't exist, by the way. Quick drug lesson for all of you guys watching. Uh, there are perk 10s. That is it. So these 30 perks, these blue perks that they're talking about, that's the fin. Probably have to censor the word fin and perk, but we'll just have the Waji put it up in subtitles so you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, both of these need to take some perks, is crush them up and rub them on their face because they have big vaginas where their eyes are supposed to be. Anyways, they're outside crying. I don't give a fuck about anything they're talking about and neither should you. Mark goes to go see Star. <sighs> My bad, I almost called her Starlight again. Y'all were pointing that out to me in the last video that I called Adam Eve Starlight 80 times. I'm going to be honest, bro. I've been having the boys on my mind. Pause on that. That was crazy. I have boys on my mind. All right. That was insane. But I ain't going to hold you, bro. I definitely have been thinking about the boys. I need that to come back ASAP because I'm tired of convincing. Bro. <laughs> Thank God this is the last episode, bro. I'm going to keep it a band. But anyways, after him and 
Goddamn, Adam Eve get done talking, bro. Alan is talking to Omni Man, bro, and he's telling him, Hey, look, man, I'm gonna keep it a band with you, bro. We gotta get you the fuck out of here, bro. Now, why the fuck would I come with your ass? I'm not leaving here. Man, you really don't got no choice. It's either you leave with me or you're gonna die. I mean, your son already down. I done talked to Mark. Hey, you talking to my son? How my, how my nigga Mark doing? I mean, he doing all right. I mean, last time I seen him, you know, me and him scrapped a little bit. Well, who was about to scrap? I beat this fake ass Omni Man up. Uh, I'm mortal. Man, that motherfucker, man, he been trying to copy my whole flow his whole life. Motherfucker been biting me. Swagger jacking. I'm gonna keep it a band, but it don't really matter. What does matter though, is that my son is involved with this shit, man. Let my man Mark get a little breather or something. Y'all niggas all on my son dick. Man, we can't let that nigga breathe, man. We need him. We need him and you. Both of y'all niggas, man. You out here acting like a hoe. Like you not gonna help. But is you gonna help or not, man? I guess I ain't got no motherfucking choice. Y'all know you about to go against Thrain. This big ass nigga, he, you know how fucking tough you gotta be to have Viltramite powers like us and a fire ass fade. Editor, put this nigga Thrag up on the screen. Look at this nigga fade. You wanna fight a nigga like this? You know he got melanin in him. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, Viltramites are scary, but a black Viltramite, you can keep that shit respectfully. Hey, no, 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 that's what the fuck I'm saying. And just like that, the season finale of Invincible is over, y'all. I'm not gonna hold you. Now, I know that y'all like Invincible content, so if you want me to do an entire review of the entirety of the comic, I mean all of it from front to back, show you comparisons between the show and the comic, <sighs> get this to at least 5,000 likes, man. I need 5,000 of them hoes. Make sure y'all subscribe and turn post notifications on. If you don't, you know what I'm saying? You're a bitch, bro, and I know y'all don't want to be that. Bye!